And one week from tomorrow, lawmakers will gather at the state capitol to discuss lowering your property taxes. Governor Polis is calling a special session of the legislature after the defeat of Proposition HH. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live in downtown Colorado Springs. Jared, many Coloradans are now facing a bill that could be 40 to 50 percent higher next year if nothing's done here. Yeah, Adam, some voters I spoke with today told me they want to see lawmakers come up with a comprehensive plan next week to keep their property taxes low, a plan that makes sense to both them and their budgets. The fact that uh, we're in this state, this situation to begin with, uh, I believe was due to lack of planning. Make it simpler, make it something that the general guy can understand. That's what voters are saying two days after Proposition HH failed by a large margin. Governor Jared Polis shattered glass to demonstrate the urgency he says Colorado faces as he called on both sides of the aisle to come together to reach a short-term deal to help lower property taxes for this year. But we want to provide property tax relief to everybody. We can't pick and choose. We need to get the $200 million out the door for rate reductions, for knocking money off the value of your home for your assessment. The exact next steps lawmakers will take is uncertain. In a statement made today, Senate President Steve Fenberg said, quote, Our caucus will now be laser focused on providing short term relief to those who are most vulnerable to the rising cost of living. Republicans want to see the senior homestead exemption expanded, property assessment rates reduced and the first $50,000 in property value exempted. They deserve property tax relief. I think that's why Proposition HH um, failed so resoundingly is that people wanted us to go back to the table and do some good work together. Now, Polis says a long term fix for property taxes should be settled in the regular legislative session next year. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. We'll follow that special session every step. Jared, thanks. And during the special session, the governor is also asking lawmakers to help provide summer meals to over 300,000 Colorado kids. Legislation is required in order to access $35 million in federal benefits for that reason.